and welcome to the last video update of the summer term. We're going to have a break uh, for a while and it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that we've run out of quirky ideas to begin and end with. A few things to let you know about. First, great news. We are going this Sunday to be live streaming our Sunday service from church, a bit like we did on the very first week of lockdown. If you can remember that far back before the measures then became stricter and we had to move back into our homes, well, we're going to be back in church. At the same time, 10 o'clock, you'll be able to access it in all the same ways as you did before. Uh, we won't be having a congregation in the church, uh, although we are thinking about how and when uh, we might begin to do that. Uh, but we will be streaming from church again, which will be uh, great fun. In addition to that, just to let you know that over the next few weeks, we're also going to be having a few additional 11am style services. So do be looking out for those. More details to come. But the first one's going to be next Sunday, the 19th at 11.15 for turnaround purposes. So uh, pop that in your diary and there'll be more details to come. This coming Sunday, we have evening prayer at eight o'clock online. If you want something quiet, contemplative, uh, do come and join us for that. It's a wonderful service. And can I also recommend the, uh, going deeper sermons? So as you know, our main Sunday services are all age. And so these going deeper sermons are a chance for you to get your teeth into something a bit meatier. Uh, and they've been brilliant. So do check those out. You can find those on YouTube or on our website or on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, etc. So check those out. The final thing to say is uh, on Saturday the 18th of July, so just over a week's time, we've got uh, an Emmanuel quiz which David and Emma Smith are going to be hosting. It'll be great fun. You can sign up as a team or uh, as an individual and we can place you into teams. So do come and join us uh, for that. That will be uh, brilliant. Psalm 118 verse 5 says, When hard pressed... I cried out to the Lord and he brought me to a spacious place. I think it's a beautiful verse. I know that many of us are feeling hard pressed at the moment. Maybe you've been on furlough, but now redundancy is looming. Maybe you've been homeschooling for the last three and a half months and you just can't face it anymore, either as a child or as a parent. Maybe other people are easing their lockdown, but for various reasons, you can't do that. And that's painful. Maybe actually in your company, you're the one having to make hard decisions about letting people go. Maybe you've got other relational or health or work issues that feel like they are pressing in upon you. Maybe you feel constricted or restricted. Well, let's take inspiration from the psalmist who cried out to the Lord and he brought him to a spacious place. That feels like a refreshing image. And my prayer for us at Emmanuel is that this summer would be a spacious place for us as we cry out to the Lord together. And indeed, as we cry out to the Lord on behalf of one another. Amen. Right. Back to my jazz odyssey. You're going to love this. <laughs>